welcome to Floyd Models Kit Review Time. Today we got Mirror Models 135th scale. This is the British Morris C8 Quad Mark III number five body. Yes, a long old title for something is quite a classic old British vehicle. As you can see down here, we're showing it with the actual American markings on this one. So a quick run around the box, we can see it says 220 uh, detailed parts with photo etch bits as well. And then obviously over here, we've got your kit number. So it's 35400 for this one. And a little bit about the actual vehicle itself, if you want to pause and go through it. So in the box, we have a little instruction booklet. We say little, it's quite a large one. Okay, so let me try and straighten it out just a little bit. So as you can see, mirror models all over it. Usual thing, sort of CAD work, very nicely exploded with the actual mirror models kit, so you can see a little bit about it. A little about the history of the actual um, uh, vehicle itself, about the quad. It's talking about the Mark One, the Mark Two, the Mark Three, and the body variants, because this is what we're saying. This is the Mark Five body, so obviously there's different variants are through like that. Straight into it then, so working on the wheels, and then obviously the running gear, the various bits down on there. Is that an actual working? Looks like it is as well. The actual sort of ball joint down in there and everything else, which is interesting. Very nice to have uh, little working parts down in here. Quite complex how it goes together, but it's nicely laid out, makes it very straightforward and easy. We've got the transmission running down in there, then we're running into the actual chassis itself. Okay, and then we're just working around all the parts making up the actual chassis and the sort of running gear underneath. Okay, so we've got release springs going in there, and then obviously the sort of drive shafts, all those types of things being put in as you can see right the way through over on the other side starting to work up coming up through the floor and the various areas so we've actually got the bed being put onto the back of it and then some of the interiors again gear sticks things like that going in there and then obviously working our way around further items making up the actual cab area and making it out of photo etch and obviously out of plastic parts as well and then working on the actual cab the hood the things like that glass work going in and then drops down onto the actual chassis then you've got the rear compartment in there as well okay and then obviously we've got the steering wheel being fitted some more parts going on the front looks like photo etch bumpers things like that really nice touch as well and then we've actually got various things for the headlights the wing mirrors and then showing those down and then some of the little areas being put on there as well. Nice to get different views of different items so you can see exactly how things line up, where photo etch parts go and things like that. Then just the outside, so we've got the tarp sort of system going onto the roof of it, popping your doors in, and there's obviously some of the other bits and pieces that they do. As you can see, we've done the wrecker already as a rear view and things like that. So quite straightforward, it looks quite complex, but actually the instructions lay it out all very, very nicely. We've got the, oh look, MIG's jumped on this one as well. What is it with all these companies that's jumping in with MIG? Anyway, so paint callouts via MIG. So you'll obviously need your conversion charts. Okay, so into the parts themselves. Uh, you've got a little bag of clear parts down there, some of these, some of these, some of these. I'm just trying to think of some of the bigger areas. We'll start down the bottom and we'll work our way up. Okay, so how do we split this? Nice to see it's all separate bags. Okay, we am going to have a bit of room down in here. So the actual sprues themselves, I think we can drop that top can down just a little bit. Sorry, that's the wrong one. That's the close let's try that one over there there we go okay so generally looking around at the parts and everything else like that it seems quite clean crisp no problems with those at all on any of these parts having a slightly closer look as you can see down here we've also got chassis parts various things very nicely done i have to say having done some of the mirror model stuff before and we've reviewed it this does look to be very much better than anything so far that I've done of theirs. Very clean, very crisp. In fact, it's very, very crisp. All these parts, little rivet heads, bolt heads, things like that, they are all exceptionally nicely done. All of that, no problem with any of these at all, I must admit. No sign of flash, we've got no sink marks, no nothing. Actually, that is incredibly nicely done. I'd put that on a par with Tacom. Uh, or anything like that and pretty much on a par apart from perhaps a, a few little larger points but generally anything that Tammy will come out with as well okay so we work up from the floor up into the bag two we have 
Looks like we've got the hood down over here. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Generally looking around at all the parts, you can see really nice clean shot. Got a little bit of flash on a few little bits, but to be honest, they are really very easy clean up. They are extremely thin flash. This little hood area down in here, you can see very nicely molded in one, clean, crisp, everything else like that. But generally, we'll probably go around on this way, as you can see, we've got the actual transmission system down on the back here and then looking at all these smaller parts all very nicely done these are the bits we're talking about got a little bit of flash on them but nothing really you'd ever really complain or moan about or anything else like that again no sink marks beautifully done steering wheel clean crisp very very nicely done and there's that hood yeah absolutely really very very nice kit again you tend to think of their kits as being a little bit i don't know without sounding horrible to other manufacturers, but there's other manufacturers out there sort of limited run type kits and things like that. You tend to look at a lot there and it looks limited run and all the rest of it. This looks just mainstream as if you'd find it in a Tamiya kit or Meng or anything else like that. So as you can see down on here, we've got your doors, um, you know, the plates, things like that underneath. Really very nice on all of those. And again, just having a general look around, really very, very nice details indeed. Just down to the actual recesses for the handles and things like that, bolts running around the top of it. They're really sharp as well, which is a, a really nice touch on these. So again, very, very nicely done. Actually, I am very impressed with it. Okay, the tarp, which is never an easy thing to sort of recreate uh, in injection molding, but I have to say that again, looks pretty good. Looks like you've got the framework coming through. Very nicely done indeed with that one. Okay, we've got some ejector pins around on here, but I imagine they're all out of the way. I can't imagine them getting in the way. But this tarp, we've got the natural sort of sag and the reinforcements underneath and things like that. All works really very well. We're catching it in the light, moving it around. It seems to be very good indeed. And obviously we've got the rear bulkhead, those bolts shining through, quite sharp, nicely done. The seat faces down on here. Again, maybe a little bit of movement on top would be nice, but that'd be quite easy to recreate with a little bit of uh, putty just over the top and mold them in as it's dry. Okay, so then we have this little guy. So we've got a couple of sprues in here. I don't think they're identical. No, they're not. Okay, so this little guy here, as you can see, he's got all the smaller parts in here. Again, all very sharp, very crisp, very nice. Some of these locating tabs down on here, probably get away in the small one. As you can see, they're absolutely microscopic holding these small parts on. Very, very nicely done indeed. No problems at all. In fact, this is definitely one of those kits. Sometimes I do these reviews and I look at them and I'm like, yeah, okay, that's good and all the rest of it. Honestly, I am really taken back by it. Very, very surprised. Again, it is a, a dual one, so it's the same sprig. Then we get a little box, which you probably shouldn't throw it around for. Okay, so in here we have a set of decals, which, you know, perfectly adequate. No problem with those at all. They look quite nice. And then we get the cab, which I must admit, I was starting to panic because I hadn't seen it. So that's the actual area itself. Really very nice indeed. No problem. Again, it'd be very flimsy, that's why they've moulded it with all of this in. But actually, that's really very nice indeed. No problems with that at all. Very good. Nicely done. Then we get a little bit of copper wire for doing some little bit of work. We've got a couple of sheets of... Hang on, let's tip this out. Four wheels might help. You obviously don't get a spare. A little bit of photo etch. Again, looks very, very thin, this photo etch. No problem with that. Some nice details, like we've got the actual fan down in there as well, and all the parts we spoke about before. It's actually really nice indeed. No problem there. These, I assuming that they're the, the little mud flaps or the fenders for it. No problems with those. And then we've got these little guys down on here. Again, beautifully done. Very nice indeed nice molding on those then we've got the wheels which we don't really have a center seam we have got a little plug marks things like that in there very nice we've got a little bit of writing on the side which are firestone which actually say firestone as well and not some generic blurb name that's actually really very very nice indeed and we've got four of those so that's good last up we've got the clear parts the test of any model but normally because they're flat 
you don't really have a problem with them. And I have to say that's again, no problems at all. Clean, crisp, very, very sharp. Really nice indeed. So there we go, that is our surprise little kit for this week, which I must admit, I've had it sat here from since last week to do a review on it and thinking, nothing really to it, it's a gem. That is an absolute beautiful kit. Well worth it. Parts absolutely clean, crisp, very precise. A little bit of photo etch for you. Obviously the rubber wheels, things like that. Clear parts are spot on. You could not ask for a better kit out there. So if you are looking for a quad and uh, you know you want this particular variety, this is definitely going to be your go-to kit.